Hey everybody, Blair13579 here, and welcome to Earthbound Zero, otherwise known as Mother. Now, this is the first game in the Earthbound or Mother series. Um, I guess Earthbound in North America and Mother in Japan. Um, this was known as Mother in Japanese, which would make sense from what I just told you, but in uh, North America, it was known as Earthbound, two words, and something about it was that it was never actually officially released. It was officially translated, which is what you're seeing right here, but um, the ROM of it was, I guess you could say, dumped online, and they hacked in the word zero, which isn't an, it, well, it's not official. The official title isn't Earthbound Zero, it's just Earthbound. Um, but it, the sequel that was officially released was also called Earthbound, but it was one word, so, um, they added in zero just kind of to distinguish it. But, uh, yeah, so, not really too much else to say. I guess I'll start up here with naming the characters. Now, I'm going to go with the default names, which, unfortunately, you have to type in. There isn't a, uh, a don't care option, but that's okay. So, this boy's name is Ninten. Yep, subtle. This girl's name is Anna. A-N-A. -A. This other boy's name, uh, I'm going brawl spelling. Like, I guess everyone does. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have no clue. I didn't spell that right. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Alright, let me fix that. That right? Yeah. This last boy's name... ...is Teddy, believe it or not. Favorite food... ...we'll say steak. So... Nintendo Anna, Lloyd, Teddy, favorite food, steak. This is A-OK. -okay. And now for the backstory. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done, but he began an odd study all by himself. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Oh, isn't that sad? Eighty years have passed since then, and it, as is traditional NES, you get thrown out, I have no clue what you're doing. But they expect you to know what you are doing, so... Oh, it's a lamp. There's no problem with the lamp. Alright, I believe ya. What the? I take it back! Lamp draws near, alright. So, basic RPG. Uh, especially for NES area. Just mash, bash, or attack, pretty much. Um or fight, uh, sorry. Um, so yeah, um, not really too much to say with this. You can attack, or and sometimes you get a critical hit, which is like a smash attack. Well, a smash attack, which is like a critical hit, I guess. So it seems we have poltergeists in the house, so we gotta go beat them. Uh, B button is run in Earthbound Zero. In the original Mother, there was no run button, so thank you, Phil Sandhoff. Da -da. And twice dodge, alright. Okay, so, um, something you need to know. Actually, wait, hold on. Something you need to know about the Earthbound series and the Mother series is how awesome its music is. It is some damn fine music, I'm telling you. Um, it wasn't, uh,. This game, okay, there, there's our first smash attack, and it doesn't really do much else right now. Um, 
this first game, Earthbound Zero, established some tunes that w are, would be in the rest of the series, but isn't really known, I guess, for the best music in the series. Oh my brother, our house is falling apart. Boo hoo, that's what you say. You don't do anything, you just stay in your house and say, or in your room and say boo hoo. Help me. Okay. Go outside. Don't stay in here. What's this? It's a doll. A doll draws near. Just as clear as the other thing. As the lamp. Verse. That didn't make any sense at all, did it? Dolls attack. And another smash attack. Alright. Not too really much to say. Or. Man. Not really too much to say right now. Another one. Jeez. But mostly because we just got thrown in. We don't have any explanations right now. So. We'll see soon though. And we advance to the next level. Fight has been increased by three. Speed has been increased by two. Wisdom has increased by three. Strength. Wait. Strength and fight and different. And force. Yeah, it's not really that clear. The phenomena... <laughs> uh, the phenomenon has stopped for the moment. So, you'll notice down there there's HP and PP. So, if you go to PSI, which I just did, we only have telepathy right now, which doesn't really do too much, but anyway. Let's go check the doll. Ten spotted an old music box. As the music box was wound up, Melody began to play. And Ten remembered the tune. So. That's basically... No. That's basically what you're trying to do in this game, is collect all the melodies. You see, uh, in the bottom corner, we have one music note. And so that was the first one. I'm not sure if it actually tells you that that's what you're supposed to do, or if you just have to figure it out. But that is what you're supposed to do. Let's go talk to our mom. Nintendo, are you alright? Egad. <laughs> Does anyone even say that anymore? What's happening to our house? I wish your dad were here right now. Maybe. Telephone. Oh, telephone. Nah, I think I get it. I'm just gonna go upstairs. Now, fine, I'll get it, because you're too lazy. This is your dad. Seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to... How to what? Your great-grandfather studied PSI. Huh. Didn't we see in the uh, intro that there was the man named George who went into an odd study? Ah, oh, they can't be it. You might find something in the basement to help, but I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure and explore the potential of your powers. I have powers? No one told me. Powers not to be taken lightly. So, bye. Oh, phone me and I will save your progress. What do you mean, Dad? What's saving your progress? Maybe the key's in there. No problem. Who are you talking to? The box? No. Fine. You can't check your mom, that's just gross. Ten, are you alright? Uh, okay, so she says the same thing. So, I guess let's go outside. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, oh. Uh, there are some good songs in this game. This is probably number two. After the title theme, you can converse with animals. Tell you a secret, why don't you check me out, Bow Wow? Let's go and check it out. There was a basement key. Oh man. Hey look, it's our sister. No. No. I am Minnie. Leave. See you later, and brother, you take care. So. Move. So, the door is locked, so. Let's use. No, jeez. Use basement key. We go in the basement, and with that's very dark. So we have. Oh, look down. Thank you. There was. G. 
GGF's Diary. Now what does GGF stand for? Giant Gang Fight? No, it's Great Grand... Great Great Grandfather. And it was empty. I keep, duh, I keep doing that. Alright, so... You can look. Let's look at it. Great Grandfather Dark. It is old, ragged, and filled with entries. Now, can we use it? Oops, up to this page. Password. The one who lost the tail. The forgotten one? The ship that sails. Hmm. Okay. There was a plastic bat. So we can equip that, which we will do that. No. Use. Intend to equip the plastic bat. And in here, there was bread. Okay, so the thing with bread is if you leave it somewhere, then you can follow the crumbs and go back to your trail, like follow the trail of crumbs. But, um, anyway, um, how long has it been? Oh, it's been 11 and a half minutes. Uh, I don't really want to keep this first part too long, but I feel like we haven't done en enough. I don't know. I think I'll stop it here. Um, I don't want to get too ahead of myself anyway, so... Thanks everyone for watching part one of Mother, or Earthbound Zero. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it. I'm just going to... I'll just call it... I don't know. Either way. Thanks everyone, and stay tuned for more episodes of this, and if you like it, then great, and if not... <laughs> Okay, yeah. See ya, bye.